us here at our wet headquarters in Hollywood. You can feel the electricity in the air. You can feel the rain and electricity. Somebody's going to get electrocuted tonight because Maverick himself, Tom Cruise, is here with us. I have to say, it's... It's fun when Tom Cruise is at your office. You don't know, is he gonna drop down from a ceiling vent? Is he gonna drive a motorcycle through a cubicle or something? Maybe he's wearing a mask and disguised as Guillermo right now. We don't know, is that really you, Guillermo? Yes, Jim, it's me, yes. We still don't know, actually. We do know is that there's a, uh, a flash flood warning, a water spout warning, and a blizzard warning in effect for LA County. It's the first blizzard warning since 1989. The number one song in the country was Lost in Your Eyes by Debbie Gibson the last time we had a blizzard warning here. And, um, and I would like to sing it in its entirety for you now. I, this is what it was like on the uh, treacherous El Cajon Pass this morning. They got massive amounts of snow uh, there, and trucks were, well, luckily they were white, so they looked good. Then uh, up in Big Bear, there were many feet of snow. It even snowed here in Hollywood. My kids woke up this morning, they look out the window, they're like, is that CGI? <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. I have a hard time believing it just so happens to be snowing on the day Cocaine Bear comes out. <laughs> yeah. It feels like marketing. <laughs> the name. Speaking of um, cocaine bears, today marks the one-year anniversary of Vladimir Putin's unjustified invasion of Ukraine. The United Nations approved a resolution calling for Russia to withdraw their troops. That should do it. Uh, <laughs> if I know anything about history, I know that the best way to thwart an evil dictator is with a strongly worded letter. It's hard to believe that this war has been going on for a year now. It's even harder to believe it's been only three months since the Kremlin had to deny that Vladimir Putin fell down the stairs and pooped himself. <laughs> never forget, every, never forget. Meanwhile, in, in China, in a um, pretend effort to try to help put an end to the war, China proposed a 12-part peace plan for Russia and Ukraine. Why 12 parts? All he needs is one part. Russia gets out of Ukraine. Why are the Chinese always making us assemble stuff? <laughs> The war was a big topic of discussion on this morning's Fox & Friends, where dissent is both unusual and unwelcome. China should not be praised. This is anybody well, clear-thinking person knows this is not a real list. Well, Brian, it's my opinion. It would be a great thing if it happened. What, what, we, what, what happened? Peace? Right. Don't you think it no, would be how a great could thing? You, how, because you're rewarding a country Brian, that aid another country. Think, think, just think about the dynamics between Russia and China right now. I am being like a, a majority of Americans being optimistic about what happens. About what? Okay, optimistic right. about what? Are you giving guys, Ukraine? We want to end. Guys, guys. We have so many great stories we've got to get we to. Do. We need to talk about Brad Paisley. <laughs> what? We do? Oh, what happened to Bruno? We were talking about him for a long time. Brad Paisley actually recorded a pretty great song with President Zelensky. Zelensky doesn't sing in the song. It would have been probably a bad idea, but they talk about all the things we have in common, and I'm glad Brad Paisley recorded this because some people, for whatever reason, and I'm not saying Marjorie Taylor Greene and Tucker Carlson are indebted to or compromised by or have some kind of secret allegiance to Vladimir Putin in exchange for silence or money or some kind of weird nesting egg sex. But man, oh man, they sure do seem to be on Team Russia. They are so stupid and they are so disconnected with what the American people want that they are literally going to lead us into World War III. And I don't want to be on that train anymore. I am not interested in it, and neither is anyone else. You're one of the few people that tells the truth like the American people feel and talk and think on television uh, that I ever see telling the truth. And I'm trying to say the same thing in Congress, but yet we're the ones that are supposed to be for Putin. I don't think so. And then she made the same statement in Russian for her people back home. Thank you, <laughs> Comrade Green and Comrade Carlson. Thank you for speaking the Pravda now and always. Spasiba to you. George Santos got some money from the cousin of a Russian oligarch, and he doesn't seem eager to share any details on that. So to change the subject, He's working overtime to ingratiate himself to the far right wing of the party. Santos is co-sponsor of a bill that would make the AR-15 assault rifle the national gun of the United States. What a cool guy, and what an important cause. 
That shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. I've always been very clear. I'm very pro Second Amendment. Um, uh, at the same at the same time, I'm very conscious about a mental health crisis that we have in this country, and also an accountability uh, an accountability crisis that we have in this country. Take it from me, a man going through a mental health crisis with no accountability. <laughs> That's good, though, George. The first step is admitting you have a problem. My approach with that came just purely from a, it's, it's a resolution, so it's more about recognition. This is a gun manufactured in the United States, creates jobs in the United States. It's a made in America gun, and I mean, we have national everything, but why not have a national gun? It's, it's, it saves lives on a daily basis, and it's not reported. Right, right, because they're too busy reporting all your secret identities. Can you <laughs> imagine, with all the tragedy that's happening in this country, this bonehead wants a bill naming the AR-15 our national gun. And yes, I know the AR-15 is the gun George Santos killed the Loch Ness Monster with, but come on. <laughs> Even for him, it's ridiculous. And by the way, he's not alone on this one. This dumb bill was sponsored by a congressman from Alabama named Barry Moore with co-sponsor Santos, Andrews Clyde of Georgia, and mozzarella stick salesperson Lauren Bolbert. <laughs> These are the heroes working to get us a national gun. And the next time there's a mass shooting with an AR-15, which will probably be by the end of the week, we will know who to thank, the four gun whores of the apocalypse. Thank you so much for your work. Really. And by the way, we already have a national gun. Top Gun! <laughs> All right, if you're gonna have one, that should be it. Now, this is the kind of thing Congress needs to act on. Have you heard about the Kool-Aid Man challenge? TikTokers are now running through walls like the Kool-Aid Man. Security video captured the vandalism. Teens breaking through PVC fencing while recording it. It's called the Kool-Aid Man Challenge, modeled after popular commercials from the 70s and 80s. Homeowner Charles Damiani ran out to see this, several sections of his fence missing. When he looked at his security video, he watched teens break right through the fence. And you know what they say, cool me once, shame on you, cool me twice. While police were taking a statement from Damiani, security video shows the kids returned and broke through yet another section of the fence. While the police were taking the statement. This is an epidemic. Honestly, has anything good come from TikTok yet? I mean, maybe a, I don't know, a recipe for bread in an Instapot, but that's it. <laughs> there are more Lord of the Rings movies in the works. Warner Brothers says they have multiple projects in development, and fans are not happy to hear that. Uh, they do not want more Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's a tweet, I, as a person who loves Lord of the Rings, do not think we should make more Lord of the Ring movies. Please leave the series alone. Please just let them rest in paradise. A lot of people are against this, but I think, hey, maybe after all, who wouldn't want to see a version of Lord of the Rings that completely effing sucks? <laughs> I don't know, I don't get, I don't understand the outrage, but it just so happens our announcer, Lou Wilson, is one of our, America's most influential Dungeons and Dragons players. And he's very well versed in fantasy nerdness, so Lou, can, uh, can you explain this? Why are fan Lord of the Rings fans upset there are going to be more Lord of the Rings? Well, we're worried that the new LOTR, Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, won't live up to the original trilogy directed by Peter Jackson. Okay. Now, what we'd like to see instead is an adaptation of the Silmarillion, which is an account of the first age of Middle-earth and features the Valar, the Maiar, uh, and the Noldor, like right. Glorfindel. Feanor, who created the Silmoros, yeah, yes. the whole thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so in other words, the problem is the Peter Jackson movies are so perfect, you just want to leave them alone. Exactly. Uh, you know, since we're on the subject, Jimmy, would you actually want to hear about my D&D uh, &D home campaign? Uh, it's kind of my take on Curse of Strahd, but set in a cyberpunk future. You know what, I do. Uh, will you text that to me and I'll go over it this weekend? <laughs> you got it. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Lou, we appreciate it. You know, um, By the way, it seemed like a bit, that was not. <laughs> I, you know, I mentioned Tom Cruise is here tonight. Uh, Tom Cruise is the man who saved the movie and popcorn and Twizzler industries by getting Americans back to the multiplexes where we belong. Top Gun Maverick made a billion and a half dollars. It's nominated for Best Picture of the Oscars. But 
a blockbuster isn't officially a blockbuster until our man Yaya gives it a review. And with that said, it's Yaya time tonight, talking about the movie Top Gun Maverick. Action! Ha, no, re, no red la, light. <laughs> Action! Hi, it's me, Yaya. I talk about the new movie. Uh, no, it's not new. Uh, yeah, I talk about the movie nominated for Oscar, Tom Cruise, Top Gun. Uh, Marverick. Key. Okay. Uh, top Gun, you know, like airplane, military. Then you go up, go down in the desert, in the snow, in the bridge. Top Gun is the best movie. Tom Cruise, he do good movie. He do the, the movie. He jump from the roof with the laser. He make the movie, good movie. I watch it long time with the Cuba Junior. He told me, show me the money. And he have a leg, he cannot walk in the wheelchair. The movie called The Guy and Cannot Walk Anymore. And also Tom Cruise, he wearing mask, and, he, and you don't know who's that, and everybody have sex with each other. <laughs> uh, the other guy, uh, his son in that movie, Meles Teller. He played that boy also in that movie. The bald guy, he slapped him, and he played drum very good. And this guy also, he's in Top Gun, his name Hammer. He's in TV show, everybody smoke a drink, and you have sex. Geneva Conantino, that her girlfriend in the movie. She's in the movie with the guy from Australia. His name is Crow. The movie talk about the story, uh, I don't remember. And he told me one time, I asked him, sir, can I take a picture with you? He tell me, you. I take my bell out, I tell, okay, come me here. And he's straight, I swear. And he tell me, man, I'm joking. I said, no joke, I'm a man like you, man. Don't say that. I don't need your picture. After I got picture with him, it's good. <laughs> you know Tom Cruise, he do Top Gun 1. It's a very good movie, I watch it. This one, I don't watch it, but I watch it soon. He tried to teach all that kids because new to military. Have any fun yet? And he put the cross, and he put the bullet. Don't shoot me, I shoot you, son of a bitch. Boom. Go watch the movie. Thank you. Good luck for the Oscar. Oh, there he is. Thank you, Yaya. Wow, all dressed up. How are you, John? How are you, guys? Very good to see you. Guys? Great job, Yaya. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Jeremy is the best. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. the one make me famous. God bless you, Yaya. God bless you God, forever. No, God bless you. No, God bless ah, you forever. God bless you. No, God bless you. I'd rather God bless you tonight. No, God bless you, bless no, your God family, bless your you. No, And God, God bless, bless your family. No, and your family. No, but God bless you. Because you have good hearts. And God bless Guillermo, too. God bless Guillermo. <laughs> That's right. Yaya, yeah, yeah, everybody. That's <laughs>